Hi. Normally, when we run a console simulation, we have to wait until the simulation is finished, and then we can look at the results and analyze the results. However, if the model is heavy, it may take several hours or several days to completely finish the solution, and then we have access to the results. This is not preferred because maybe we have set some parameters in a wrong way, or maybe the simulation is going through the wrong direction. And uh, if we would have looked at the results during the simulation, we could understand this and we could stop the simulation and save our time. So actually, we prefer to look at some of the output while the simulation is running. So in this video, I will show you how to achieve that. So this is an example. We have a 2D model. This is electric current model. Um, so we have two materials. So the, the top material basically has a conductivity of 10 power minus 12 and relative permittivity of 2. And the lower material has a conductivity of 10 power minus 14 and relative permittivity of 6. Now we apply a voltage. So we apply uh, 1 volt to the top. This 1 volt is not directly 1 volt, but at beginning it goes up and then it gets to the, to the final value, which is 1 volt. And this increase is exponential, it's quite fast. As you can see, the time constant is very small. So within a few milliseconds, it, it reaches already to the final value, which is 1 volt. And also we have set the ground, which is here. Okay, so the mesh is created, so everything is uh, fine. And basically we can run the model, so I have already run this model. For example, we want to see how the voltage within this medium and this middle point is changing. So we can actually define a, uh, a point in, in this position from the data set. And then we can actually form a 1D group and then point plot to plot the voltage um, evolution over time. So this is what we do normally. So which this is basically the result. Now based on simple theory, I know that the voltage has to jump at beginning and this value can be easily calculated analytically and also at the end the voltage has to reach to a steady state and for this uh, for these parameters that i have selected it should go very close to the final voltage value which is one volt and this obviously follows that trend now this information i know from before even if i would not solve this uh, simulation so now imagine if this simulation could take two days to run I would prefer to see this uh, evolution such that if suddenly, for example, this curve is going down, I can understand that something is wrong with this simulation. So the idea is to see this waveform while the simulation is running. Okay, so in order to do that, you go to definition, right click on definition, you select probe, and now you can select different probes, domain probe, boundary, and so on, global variable probe. In this case, I will select point probe. Now there are different types of probes. You can say average at that point and time uh, or maximum, minimum or whatever value that you want. I would select the average value at that point of time, which actually is equal to um, the maximum value or minimum value in this case, it doesn't matter. Now I don't want any of these points. These are the points of the geometry, but I wanted the point here. So because I don't have it, so I have to go back to the geometry and create that point in my model. It doesn't change anything for the simulation, but it basically adds one point into the simulation such that I can later use it. So now this point is created. If I go to the probe, you can see that this point is there. So I clear everything and I only select that point. And which parameter I want to evaluate? I want to evaluate voltage over that probe. And the rest is the same. So the top one is material one, the bottom one is material two, and the boundary conditions are actually the same. And we perform the mesh and we run the simulation. Now, what we notice is that in this uh, part of the simulation, we have a parameter appears, which is named probe one. And then this probe one basically shows the evolution of the voltage as time goes on. So, this is the initial peak, and then gradually the voltage increases and reaches to the final value. So, this way, we can actually monitor an output while the simulation is running. And in case something is wrong, we can stop the simulation and change our parameters or maybe settings such that our simulation goes uh, properly. Okay, so here is the final results. 
and obviously if I go back to this plot and plot it I will get exactly the same thing as the probe shows us all right so this is all for this video see you next time bye